How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. And in today's video, we're gonna be building another medieval house. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with some real easy to follow along instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And for all of the building materials you'll need, the paint scheme that I used, and also the map cords where I built this, check out the description below. So before we get started, I just wanna tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay down our foundation. So we're gonna start off by placing down a row of five stone foundations. Then you can go ahead and add another row of five behind that. And then behind that, we're gonna place two more foundations. We're gonna skip one foundation in and right there we'll place two more. And this will make up our foundation. Now remember, we are gonna place one more row of five there at the front for our patio. Go ahead though and switch all of these to block. Now on this front left corner, we're gonna go ahead in here and place a wooden fence foundation on top of our foundation. Then on the corner, we're gonna go ahead and snap two high stone pillars on top of that. Then we'll snap one high on the other side of that fence foundation. Then you shouldn't need to place any more fence foundations because we're gonna place pillars on each snap point. So you should be able to just snap one right here. So place one high right here. Go ahead and place another one right here and another one right here. Then on the corner here, we're going to place two high and we're going to go around the rest of our build and we're going to place two high pillars on each snap point. Now, again, like I said, you shouldn't need to use fence foundations because the pillars will be able to snap from each other. All right, now we're going to go back into our front left corner and we're going to place one high wood pillar on top of those stone. We'll add one high right here. Right here, we're gonna add three high. We'll again add one high here, three high right here, and then again, one high on the corner. As we come around on the right side, we're gonna skip this middle one. Then we'll place one high on the corner. On this inside corner, we're gonna place two high. We'll place two high right here. Again, we're gonna skip this middle one, head to this corner, and we're gonna again place two high here and here. We'll go ahead and skip this middle one as well. We'll place one high on this corner and then we'll skip this last middle one. Next, we're gonna go ahead and build up our first floor walls. So starting on the front left corner, we're gonna go ahead and place two high stone walls. Then we'll add a stone window frame in the next spot and a wall on top of that. We'll add two more walls right here, another window frame here with a wall on top and two more walls right here. Heading to our right side, we're gonna place two walls right here. Then we'll add a stone door frame and a wall on top of that. Then we're gonna go ahead around to the back. We're gonna place two walls here and here. On this back side, we're gonna do two walls on both of these spots. We'll do two walls on this side. And then on these last two spots, we're gonna do a window frame and a wall, window frame and a wall here, and then just walls on this side. Then you can just go ahead around and fill in our window frames with reinforced windows and our door frame with a reinforced door. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fill in our second floor. So we're gonna start off in the front left corner right here. We're gonna place down a wooden ceiling right here. Then we're gonna leave these next two spots open for our staircase. So we're just gonna go ahead and start filling this in with wooden ceilings and leave those two spots open. Next, we're going to go ahead and build up our second floor walls. So starting on the front left corner, we're going to place a flipped wooden wall here, a flipped wooden wall here. In these next two spots, we're going to place a flipped wooden window frame and then a wall on top of those and then the appropriate sloped wooden wall on top of those. And in the next spot, we're just going to place a flipped wooden wall. We're going to come around this side and place a flipped wooden wall on each of these with the appropriate sloped wooden walls on top. On this back side, we're gonna place a flipped wooden wall here and then two flipped wooden walls here. We'll again place flipped wooden window frames on each of these with walls on top and then the sloped wooden walls on top of those. Over here on this side, we'll again place two high flipped wooden walls here and then one high on each of these. Then over here on this side, we'll place a flipped wooden window frame on each spot and the appropriate sloped wooden walls on top. 
Then we're gonna go ahead inside of our build over here on the right side. We're gonna come in here between these two wooden pillars and we're gonna place wooden double door frames flipped around so they're placing like this. And then just go ahead and place a wall on top of each of those. And how you'll know you placed it right, if you come in here to this pillar, the walls will line up with each other. There won't be any kind of a gap. We're gonna come over here to this pillar and place another one right here and then a wall on top of that. And then we're gonna come down to our bottom floor and place two high right here. Add another one on top of that and it should line up with the one we already placed and then add another wall. Next, we'll go around our second floor and fill in our window frames with greenhouse windows. Then once you have those placed, we're gonna go ahead and add our sloped wooden roofs on top. So we'll place two right here on each side. We'll head over to the right and place one on each side right here. And then on top, we'll just go ahead and add three on each side of the top. Next, here on the front, we're gonna go ahead and add that little patio. So first, we're gonna place five stone foundations right here going across the front. Then we're gonna go ahead in here and right above our stone wall here on the right, we're gonna place a thatch ceiling. And that's going to allow us to place a sloped wooden roof attached to the wall here so that it's kind of pointing outward. Go ahead and pick up your thatch ceiling and then just place more sloped wooden roofs down until you cover this patio area. Now here on the front corner of this foundation, we're gonna go in here and place one wooden pillar. And we'll do that on the other corner as well. And then across the rest of these foundations, we're just gonna place wooden double door frames on each foundation. And then once you finish that, go ahead and switch these foundations to block as well. Next, we're gonna come over here to the right side where we have our door and we're gonna add three stone stairs across this right side. Then we'll go ahead and place a wooden railing on top of the stairs and then a stone railing snapped underneath of them to fill the gap. Do that on the other side of this stair as well. And then we'll head to the other side of our patio and add another stair over here and do the same thing on each side of it. Then the next thing we're gonna do here on the front of our build is we're gonna get out a thatch ceiling and snap it to this foundation. And then we're gonna use that thatch ceiling to snap a wooden railing on top of the ceiling so that it doesn't destroy the double door frame. And when you pick up the ceiling, everything will remain. So go ahead and do that on the rest of these spots. The last thing we're gonna do here on the outside is on the right side where our door is. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna snap a wooden fence foundation on the side of this ceiling like this. So go ahead and place that down. Now the only way you're gonna be able to place that is if the smooth side of your wooden ceilings is over on this side. So you can see it's kind of smooth right there. And then we have the jagged side over here. So if you had it to where your smooth side was on the front and your jagged side was over here, you would be able to place this on the front side above your door. It just depends on which side you wanna place this hanging lamp post. So we're gonna go ahead, I like it on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a wooden railing on top of that. And then that'll allow us to place a wall torch snapped to the wooden railing right here to kind of give us this hanging lamp post. Now on the inside of our build, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone stair from our ceiling and then add another one right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and box this in. So we're gonna place two high wood walls right here, another two wood walls right here. Then on this last spot, we're gonna place a wooden door frame and wooden door and then a wall on top of that. And that's gonna be kind of like a storage closet. We're gonna go ahead to the front of our stairs right here and place a wooden double door frame at the front. And then one more on top of that, just to kind of frame our stairs. Then we're gonna go ahead up here to the top and we're just gonna place wooden railings all along the top of our staircase so that we don't fall down it. And then one last thing we're gonna do in here is add a fireplace. So we're gonna come over here where we have these two windows and place it on that wall. So first we'll place a wooden ladder down right here. 
go ahead and climb up on the ladder and then get your fireplace out and jump off the ladder and that'll allow us to place this fireplace perfectly straight so just go ahead and line it up where you want it on this wall and then once you have it lined up where you want it you can go ahead and place it down so i think i'll put it right i think right here is good we'll place it down right there and then we can go ahead and just pick up this ladder So alright guys, that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now for the paint scheme, like I said, it's going to be in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to apply the paint scheme. I'm going to add a few decorations. Stick around with me for one more second and I'll show you what I come up with. Alright guys, so there we have it with the paint scheme applied. Like I said, that is in the description below if you should want to copy what I did here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the decorations I've added. So first here on the outside, if we come in here to the patio area, I've just added some benches and a little bit of storage here on the front just to kind of make it more of like a hangout area here on our front. Going around to the back side of our build, first you can see we have our hanging lamp post kind of right there so you can get an idea of what that looks like. And then over here on the back side, I've just added some crops around the back side of our build just to give it a little bit more character here on the back side. So let's go ahead around to the inside here and I'll show you what I've done inside. So on the first floor, I've just added a little bit of clutter here on the entryway. I've added kind of a kitchen area or like a dining area over here with a map on the wall. We got a little bit more clutter as we go down the hallway. And then back here, like I said, this is kind of like a storage room back here. So we've got different kinds of storage in there. Let's go ahead and head upstairs now and I'll show you what I've done upstairs. So as we head upstairs, this is like our personal area. So we have our fireplace here. We've got some areas here to sit down and enjoy the fire and the view outside. We've got some more storage all over this area. I've added a table in here. This is kind of like our bedroom. It's a little bit tighter, but it's not really a big build. So it's going to be a little tight. But we've got our bedroom in there with our table and our mortar and pestle to look like a dish. And that'll pretty much do it for what I've done for decorations on the inside. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your art. Guys, if you did enjoy the build and you did enjoy the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which helps my channel get noticed. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think about the build in the video. And of course, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other videos. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel for future ARC Let's Build videos. Anyways, guys, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.